Hello, I'm Mary. Ça, c'est moi quand j'étais au Sénégal. Je me sentais confortable, libre, joyeuse, drôle, aimée. J'aimais comment t'en parler partout où je suis. But that's me also when I come to live in the United States. I felt uncomfortable, ignored, and neglected. Do you know how it feels like when you're trying to talk to people and they do not understand what you're talking about? Yes, I do. Well, before you ask me about my accent, I'm a dual nationality, and I spent my whole life in Senegal. I came to live in the United States when I was 14 years old at the middle of the pandemic because my parents preferred the Senegalese education. I used to come every summer and go back to my land, but this time is to stay and learn new things. As a teenager, my everyday life changes suddenly and I don't have things that I used to have. I was not in a school that I used to be in. Do not see people that I used to see and do not talk to people that I used to talk to. My first day of school was online and I didn't understand anything. I used to take video during class so afterward I could take my time and look for a translation. How many times did I cry? I don't know. A year after that, I started going to high school, which was the hardest thing I have been through in my life. I felt so uncomfortable talking to people, and I'm a talkative person, and my friends know that. I was like, this is not me. I'm not quiet. I used to give my opinion to people, so why am I scared of talking? My job helps me a lot. I can spend a whole day seeing new people, trying to help them, and they give me confidence. Now I have to keep my heads up and be myself and stop being scared. I don't want to be perceived as a lonely person, especially I don't want to feel sorry.